Good morning. This is Jerry. I came down here pretty excited this morning because I read in the newspaper this article by Catherine Par Kathleen <coughs> Parker of the West of the Washington Post group, who I usually always read because she's conservative. I take to be pro-life. And here she is saying, novelty weren't thin. Sarah, wave goodbye. I thought, Sarah Palin, already she's ready to give up on her. I said, oh, what in the world? Well, I guess she's cringing because Sarah Palin occasionally sounds very ignorant and unsure of herself on certain subjects. Hey, I saw the Charles Gibson interview. And here's Charles Gibson, an icon of the mirror uh, of uh, anchors, glaring down at her like, well, you better prove to me, young lady, you know anything. I don't think Charles Gibson is an icon for anything. Uh, well, he's been around for years and years. That and, doesn't make him intelligent. And you know, he, he and Barbara Walters clashed way back. Read her. <laughs> memoirs and you'll find out what she and Charles Gibson were all about. Well anyway, she survived three a long interview with Charles Gibson. Well I guess she didn't do too well with Katie Couric. Katie Couric! We've been patient with her for years as she developed more we? depth. Yes! Watching you haven't watched today for years and what does that make Gradually, sort of and everyone thing? has been saying for months, she can't anchor, uh, she can't anchor at night, that, that's beyond her. Well, actually, I think Katie Cork is starting to do very well. I think she's becoming a credit to women. And, but it took time. It took she time. credit to her gender, is that what you're saying? And here's poor, uh, poor Sarah Palin, who probably didn't have even a dream of being vice president nominee before... McCain tapped her on the shoulder just a few short weeks ago. And all of a sudden now she's supposed her to on the shoulder. Oh, you probably you punched are her in the face, you know? <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, anyway, here here she is trying her best to feel responses from I would say a media that has mostly been pro-choice for years. So they, they don't even have to question a pro-life woman. They just, who have they had for years and years? Who's been the role model? Hillary Clinton, who's probably been running for president forever in her own mind. And they're comparing the smoothness of Hillary Clinton with the country, the country uh, manners and modesty of, you know, Sarah oh, Palin. Ooh, well, that could hurt. But Sarah Palin has got strength of conviction, which I don't think the reporters are used to, uh, you know, they just don't quite know how to handle that. So I would say it is not Sarah Palin who's lacking. As well, the reporters are lacking in how to talk to her. Now, I want to say that I'm a Democrat, have been a, uh, a registered Democrat for years. Uh, I started when uh, becoming a Democrat when uh, President Roosevelt was in power, and I was just a you know, teenager, but I admired you know, his strength in handling such huge concerns. And through the years, I. I was not sorry that I was a Democrat until, until the Democratic Party became the party of pro-choice. You can't even get nominated for president if you're not pro-choice, if you don't say you're pro-choice. Look at poor John Kerry jumping the fence, oh well I'm a Catholic but, but I'm also pro-choice, you know. He, he, uh, Catholics for choice. Uh -huh. You can be a Catholic and still be pro. Uh, oh, well, of course, but it kind of contradicts itself. No, it doesn't. And it does, too. Catholics say this. That, it doesn't contradict uh, itself. He uh, well, doesn't take his uh, uh, from the Pope, okay? Oh, no, of course not. Well, that's Catholicism. He's not talking about Catholicism. Well, they're arguing about the Catholic there, there, is, there is a group that calls themselves Catholics for choice. 
which the Catholic Church has repudiated. They're saying that's nonsense. Politicians don't dictate abortion policy. Bishops do that. Oh, really? The Pope does it. That's what the Catholic Church position didn't, is. Didn't I just you read it in San read Francisco. Paper? Ah, but I just read this in. But the IRS is going to get on these people's cases about espousing political stuff from the pulpit, and they're going to do it anyway? Well, they're going to lose their uh, tax uh, uh, Well, I hope they do. I think that's another mess. But anyway, uh, anyway, I. I have to go across the line and vote Republican, even though I don't feel comfortable as a Republican. Well, don't worry about it. And look what look what pro choice. Don't worry about it because you're it's voting. like the Democratic your Party is going to be canceled. Now represents a faction who hate that guy religion. The the fourth, they have actually your vote will be pulled, canceled. They have actually pulled the teeth of the Christian religion, like turn it into a toothless you tiger. Pull the teeth from a Ah, uh, because no Democrat is cannot a tiger? has to be pro-choice. We're back to the Inquisition uh, again. Oh no, no. So if you're Christian, ah, uh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, you're a Christian Democrat. Mm -hmm. Too bad. You're going to go pro-choice. You'll have to support pro-choice. You'll have to support pro-choice. That's not right. That's like a takeover of a certain faction, left wing, dictating what the Democrats are going to believe. And that's not right. That's not right. That's not the Democratic Party that has existed for years in this country. That is a recent transformation of the Democratic Party, which I think is wrong. Yeah. There should be room in the Democratic Party for Christians, for anybody, and for a strong a belief in pro, in life, as they can be. In fact, they're acting pe asking people not to believe strongly in their religious beliefs. Now that is not right. Wait a minute. You know, the late George Carlin came up with one of the best lines about religion was, the only thing to ever come out of religion that was any good was the music. And it was right. Music. Oh, well, here's a skeptic. A skeptic who I don't really listen to. I mean, a not skeptic. skeptic. I yes. was raised, parochialized, practically up through college, and I said, that's it. I'm going to go into a private Unitarian school, college, university. Well, okay. granted, granted. Uh, well, you know my background. Religions. I left the Mormon church I got because I didn't agree I got with to some of the principles so of Mormonism. But that doesn't mean that I, that I give up my beliefs in life, in not killing your own. That doesn't believe that I gave up the idea that abortion was wrong. I always thought abortion was wrong. Well, I tell you, always. Carlin came up with another one I really loved. And this was years ago. He said, isn't it amazing how all these women who are against abortion, when you look at them, these are the ones you wouldn't want to pork in the first place. Oh, funny, funny. I laugh my ass off because he's it's true. He's just as about as funny as a Well, it's all over. Egg. He's dead. Yeah, he's he dead. He and Paul Newman are not coming back. No, that's right. Paul George is gone. George Carlin is dead, who was extremely irrelevant. He could probably be a poster boy for the now Democratic Party, I suppose. I don't know. Carlin, yes. I, didn't I know can appreciate about humor. Stuff. I can appreciate I about that kind politics. of humor, but I don't let it influence me. Hey, listen, any not guy can hang out with Hugh Hefner is my kind of guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, Sarah Palin will be there Thursday night, and I want to see you come out roaring because I think you can take Joe Biden. I really do. Don't don't sweat it. Mm -hmm. I already told you if you're voting Republican, I'm voting Democrat. Your vote is canceled. Now you can scream and howl as much as you yes. want to. When you were already going to vote Democrat before that, he doesn't care what hey, listen, what's I'm happened not, to the Democratic Party. He's I going to not vote. Wish you but wish until the Democratic Party is restored to its full strength and freedom to think what you want, I will I will have to cross the line.